been reported that the Nazi fleet of U-boats exceeds 500. Hitler knows how near disaster Britain was in the last war in 1917, when the U-boat menace all but strangled our supply lanes on the sea. We are an island people. We cannot survive without our communications across the sea. Hitler knows this only too well. These pictures from another captured German newsreel bring home with vivid reality the daily and nightly threat to all our shipping. That, gentlemen, is what we've got to stop. It may seem incredible, but there is at the moment one reason why we cannot stop it. Turpits. Turpits lying 60 miles inland up a Norwegian fjord. And because of the threat she constitutes, we have to keep half a fleet watching out for her. Wasted ships, gentlemen. Ships that we urgently need to protect our Atlantic convoys. The Royal Air Force have made two attacks without success. The cliffs of the fjord are so steep that she might as well be lying in an air raid shelter. Somehow, gentlemen, Turpits has got to be put out of action. How? Human torpedoes, sir. Two men riding across the North Sea, sitting on half a ton of high explosive. It's not practical. Yes, Fraser? It is practical, sir. Nobody here seems to realize how simple such an operation could be. Hardly simple, surely. I've got the men, sir. Give us the machines, and we'll put turbids out of action for you. You seem very short of that, Commander Fraser. Yes, sir, I'm sure of it. Mr. Corbett? Yes, sir. Volunteered from shore base, didn't you? Yes, sir. Too much paper and not enough work, eh? Yes, sir. Well, I dare say we can alter that. Mr. Duffy? Sir. What's that? It's a pullover, sir. As worn in the Australian Navy, I suppose. No, sir. Not in this Navy either, Mr. Duffy. Now, listen. Just because you volunteered for special service, it doesn't mean you can dress up in fancy clothes like a bunch of fighter pilots. Remember that. How old did you say you were, Mr. Abercrombie? Nineteen, sir. Looking for a bit of excitement? Yes, sir. Well, you won't have to look far in this outfit. It'll come slap at you. We were together in the med, Ramsey, weren't we? Yes, sir. How's the wife? Okay now, sir. Boy or girl? Boy, sir. Good for you. Smart? You don't like this any better than being a steward? Don't know, sir. Yet? You'll give us a try, eh? Try anything once, sir. We've served together before, Hutchins, haven't we? Yes, sir. Hmm. Manager? No, sir. Not found the perfect woman, eh? They're all perfect to me, sir. Yeah. Well, keep your mind on the job. This job, Hutchins. Yes, sir. No offense to present company, but only an English iron officer would think of putting up a thing like that and filling it with water. All right, the order of the will be Mr. Duffy, Mr. Corbett, Mr. Abercrombie, E.R.A. Ramsey, Chief, Stuart Smart, Chief, Leading Seaman Hutchins, Chief. Right, class, ready for the same, Chief. Go see how they yes, are. 
Old Tom marched in as if he was going to the gallows. What about you, Digger? You went green all over. Where are the doings? I feel as if I hadn't spent a penny since Christmas. Cheer up, honey. It's all over now. Whew. 200 stairs. Next time I'm coming up your way. Huh. Any casualties? No, no sir. sir. Huh. We must think up something else, mustn't we? Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> right, gentlemen, now the other arm. Come on, push! Push! I am pushing. Now, nice and comfy, sir. Oh, blimey. <laughs> It'll be better when you get in the water, sir. Well, it couldn't be worse. Come on, this could be an emergency, sir. It is an emergency, sir. Right, head up. Right? Mm -hmm. How is it, Stan? Lovely. Hey? Lovely! Oh. Bet you like a glove boy. All right, get him aboard. Tom? Yes, two. But they wouldn't look at anything under a commander. Ah. Get a move on, Mr. Duffy, sir. You're next. <laughs> Morale is at its highest level. What is needed now is more machines and real aggressive action. Stand of attention. Stand with these, please. Stand that. Hey, it's... Now, I want to read you part of a letter that I received from the Admiralty this morning. With regard to your request for aggressive action to be carried out by the Mark I human torpedo, it has never been naval policy to risk life unnecessarily with untried and experimental weapons. The Mark I human torpedo is an unproven machine. You are reminded, moreover, that her crew are unproven also. And don't look so damn sorry for yourselves. You see that? You know, the Admiralty oughtn't to write us this sort of a letter, especially when the home fleet's exercising on our doorstep. <laughs> Your sir? Yes, sir. Now listen. They've got two anti-submarine nets out and one anti-torpedo. And watch out for the patrol boat. Sounds as if they knew we were coming. No, no, that's just normal procedure. Now, I want all charges laid by 22.30 hours, and I want you all in and out by that time. All right? Yes, sir. Now, don't forget, you've got to dive at least a mile from the target. And it's not going to be easy. Well, good luck. Thank you, sir. Uh, I suppose they are dummy charges. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> good, because I'm going to be sitting right on top of them. <laughs> hey, feeling all right, Copper? Fine. Steward's delight, this is, blowing up admirals. <laughs> All set? Lovely. Come on, Tiffy. We'll be there and back before those boys get through the nets.
Admiral's waiting for you, sir. I suppose you've come to pester me about your toy submarines. Oh, uh, hardly pester, sir. Well, I don't mind admitting quite frankly that I'm a ginnum. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. I think you uh, may be proved wrong. Now well, you're talking with, boy. Conjecture and enthusiasm are one thing. Proof's an entirely different kettle of fish. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Twelve o'clock, let's get turned in. Italians have tried them in the Mediterranean, but they've been playing about with toy submarines for years. Whereas, uh, what's the matter, Fraser? Nothing, sir. Not boring you, am I? Oh, Lord, no, sir. Well, then, for heaven's sake, stop fiddling with that infernal watch. Oh, sorry, sir. did you want to see me about? Uh, well, uh, 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 no, nothing in particular, sir. I, I, I just wanted your general views on the tactical uses of the chariots. I'll be quite blunt. I don't think they have any tactical use. Why, well, they remain an unknown quantity. Unproven. Yes, sir. You, uh, you think I ought to give you proof, sir? Undoubtedly. What the devil's that? Proof, sir. Proof? Yes, sir. Those were dummy charges on the hull of this ship. If they hadn't been dummies, you'd be on the bottom now, sir, for the duration. Damn fine show, Windley, 100%. I think we've sold it. It's Mr. Abercrombie and Ramsey, sir. Aren't they back? Yes, sir. They will be, sir. Wouldn't have been so funny if we had to kill a man to get our own way, would it? Have we got our own way, sir? Yeah. Right, right, sir. Right. Uh, sir? Smart? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, could I speak to you for a moment, sir? Well, of course, what's on your mind? Oh, I'm sorry to trouble you so late, sir. Oh, it's not late. I've thought about this a lot, sir. And I thought that if I could speak to someone... I'm scared, sir. Of diving? Yes, sir. I'm all right, sir. I'm quite all right, until I feel the water pressing down on me. And then I sort of panic inside like... I haven't noticed it. No, sir. Well, that's the point, surely. I haven't noticed it. 
It's still there, sir. And I felt... Cigarette? Oh, thank you very much, sir. Now, there are two kinds of courage, aren't there? One fellow's brave because he doesn't know what fear is. The other fellow's brave because he's afraid and fights it and doesn't show it. Supposing I couldn't fight it, sir. Supposing we got in a jam and I lost my head. There's two of us on them things, isn't there? Hmm. You're not the only one who's come to me with this story, you know. I'm not, sir. Far from it. You don't think I ought to back out? Do you want to back out? That's the real question. No, sir, I don't. It, well, it sort of fascinates me in spite of being scared stiff. I tested Cassidy, you know, with Chief Petty Officer Chubb. Yes, sir, I know. Frankly, I was scared stiff, too. Thank you, sir. Whoomp! She's a gunner. How's that? If you put a charge there, my boy, you'll be a genius. Right on the captain's backside. Your attention. Now, carry on, please. Here he is, Lieutenant Anderson. Royal Norwegian Naval Reserve. I am very happy to be here. He spent the last two years in Norway. And he's got some very interesting things to tell us. Crumbie. Yes, sir. Well, cheer up. Some of us had to stay behind, you know. Yes, sir. Incidentally, even if you hadn't done that, I still wouldn't have sent you on this trip. You took some pretty big risks the other night, didn't you? Ramsay didn't say anything that I can guess. I tried to get onto the net, sir. In the deepest part? Yes, sir. Why? Well, we had... I wanted to get in there first, sir. Damn nearly killed yourself doing it. Ramsay, too. I know, sir. I'm very sorry. I'm not organizing a race. These things are planned operations. I want a team. Not a lot of characters out collecting gongs. Now, you can kill yourself any time you like. But don't go killing other people. Ramsay's got a wife and kids. All right? Yes, sir. Turbits. Now you can see that she lies a long way inland. 60 miles to be exact. And every yard of it is going to be tricky. Damn tricky. There'll be German patrol boats, shore batteries, and all the rest of it. But your main danger may well be that in a flat calm, anyone who looks closely enough will be able to see the chariot secured below the waterline. And don't forget, you'll be sailing in a very small boat. She's unarmed. And you're going to go through one of the best defended stretches of water we know. The Ingeborg will have forged papers showing that she's a Norwegian fishing boat on passage from Edoy to Trondheim for the cargo of peat. She's loose. Sounds like it.
Big range, quick. Ingeborg aus Edoi, mit einer Lagen von Turf nach Breivik. Kapitän Eriksen. So, kann. Ist kalt, haben Sie Schnaps? Ja, sehr gut. Another 15 minutes. She's loose again. Can't tell. Only 15 minutes. Tron beam's on the starboard beam now. That means tepids. Less than 10 miles away. Can you attack in this weather? You can attack in any weather. It'll be dead calm on the bottom. Better finish getting dressed. The less we hang about, the better.
Port chariots are gone, not even a shackle left. That means both of them gone. Starboard snap, clean as a whistle. Tailpits is over there. If it was light, we could see. I'd like to get my hands on the blokes who made those bolts. Could have reached her easy. They have no papers for the return voyage. Then we'll have to scuttle her. Boys, let's go for a walk. Who's for Sweden? See anything? No. But at this time, they're probably in the guardhouse. I suppose there must be a guard so near the frontier. Yeah. Have we got to walk up there? Yep. Right to the top. Oh, my poor feet. Well, can't we get moving? No, it's not tight. Honey, I almost smell them cooking all those hot dinners down there. <sighs> what I couldn't do to a ruddy great steak with onions and chips and egg on top. Whoa. I'll stand it here when we get back. First time ashore. Two eggs, Stan? It's a deal. Right, you're on. I'd say we'd be due for a spot of leave when we get back after this, won't we? Oh, you've got it bad, haven't you? Well, being mad is different somehow. You're telling me. I had three years of it. Mad it? Yep. Three years hard. She gave me the push. Well, that was bad luck, Doctor. Well, maybe I chose the wrong girl. What happened? I bored her. Anyway, she found the other boys more interesting. Sorry, Doc. I'm not. Oh, hell, Cubber. You get leave and enjoy yourself. Pay no attention to your Uncle Duffy. Who said leave? Don't tell me you want to get married, too. He's got about six wives already. Oh, wish I had. You need to lay off the oatmeal stout and whelks, mate. <laughs> right? It's time we go now. Where's the actual frontier? There. Top of the mountain. Will the Swedes in Tannis? Let us reach Sweden first. And then worry about that. Now fancy that. The cook or the cookie? Dieser Weben arbeite auf das Gut von meinen Fett. Ausweis! Hier bitte. Mitkommen! Jawohl. The next post, I'll drop. You get it. The next post, you take the front one. Thank <laughs> you. 
and chips out of you, remember? Looks two eggs. How could you manage? <laughs> Double whack. Oh, I can send us back to Scotland. Oh, they were faint, may flee. He then well, what that. happens? I don't know. Probably stick us in the neck yeah, for the duration. Go. Talk us a naked. Anderson. Ni ska sändas tillbaka till Scotland med fly. I denna vecka. Ja, tack. How long do we get? What did he say? He says arrangements will be made as soon as possible to fly us back to Scotland. To fly us back? But I, I thought neutrals were supposed... These days, no people are neutral. Well, now that you lot are back from your winter sports holiday in Sweden, maybe we can settle down and get some work done. Because <laughs> this time we've got a real striking power in our hands. A midget submarine. You'll attack sitting in it, not on it. And when I say attack, I mean attack. The midgets carry four tons of high explosive. We're going to blow such a hole in turbids, she'll never move again. Why can't it down there? We'll be chief when Smart finds room for his feet. Oh, sorry about that, sir. Oh, my head's not your way, is it, sir? Driver in position. Yeah, about time to... It's all right for you, sir. You're the only one who can stand up straight. Yeah, I could if I was six inches shorter. Who's your number one? Abercrombie. He's down here. He all right? Well, he is at the moment. But he's a growing lad. I doubt if we get him out in an hour's time. Where's that mad Irishman? Yeah, no engineer, Chief. McCleary. Hey, Chief. Hello, right in my barn. Sorry, Harry, boy. What's the matter with egg three? Tell them I'll ram them and sink them as they don't pull their socks up. All clear, sir. Everybody okay, number one? Aye, aye, sir. Engine? All set, sir. Diver? Spare a penny for the diver, sir. Hey, that's an idea. How do you spend a penny in this contraption? Flow purchase! Definitely. Handsomely! We ought to blow the dockyard up. No, sir. Stop purchase! Right, unhook. Is it clear now? Yeah. I thought they gave you three weeks. They did. I knew it was too good to be true. Nobody gets three weeks leave out of this Navy, unless they're too sick to stand up. What's new? That is. Well, it's a side cargo. I've seen it before. Yes, except that the others were dummies. This isn't. Don't hit it, son. Two tons of amatol makes an awful big bang. Well, no amount of hitting will affect it. But we've been hearing nasty stories about leaks. Leaks in a side cargo? Sets it off. Hey, there's another bit of news, too. When we do go in, the old man will lead the attack. Yes, but when? Why muck up our leave? Better ask him yourself. You're early, aren't you? You went due back in 2359. Yeah, dead keen, sir. That's Good, you can start work right away. Chub, give these boys some net cutting practice, will you? Aye, aye, sir. Good blimey, what a welcome. What will you do after the war, Tom? Just what I was doing before, I suppose. Go back into the family business. Now, what's that? Biscuits. Oh, biscuits. You'll be bored stiff in peacetime after this. Well, the worst things than being born. Especially if you've got a wife and children. What about you? 
with me. I'm going to buy me a little boat and just sail it. Where? Anywhere. Any place where the booze is cheap and all the girls have got husbands. <laughs> Funny. Here, what is it? Um, just as wild, is it open? It's dead funny, you know. People at home still think I'm a steward in some perishing destroyer. Ah, uh, poor I learning. A hero in disguise. <laughs> well, it's a bit rough, isn't it? Oh, blimey. I'll open and play these. What? I mean, say, I can't even tell my girl. Oh, I wouldn't worry, honey. I'll take three. three. She'll what? probably pass you up anyway for some lovely three. big rat type with wings. I'll oh, give him flipping wings if she does. Now, ready up and all, mate. <laughs> oh, come on, it's up to you. What are you going to do? I'll bet tuppence. Here, don't be reckless. Come on, here. Gun. Sit down, gentlemen. Well, I know where you're going, mate. <laughs> Norway. Mm -hmm. The passage across the North Sea will be made under tow. His Majesty's submarines Tiger, Tomahawk and Striker are detailed for this operation. The attack will be carried out by three X-type submarines. Commander Fraser, Royal Navy, in X-1, we'll take charge of the entire operation. For the purpose of the attack, X-1 will therefore become flotilla leader. X-2 will be commanded by Lieutenant Duffy, Royal Australian Naval Volunteer Reserve. X-3 will be commanded by Lieutenant Corbett, Royal Naval Volunteer Reserve. During the North Sea Passage, each X-type submarine will be manned by a passage crew. The operational crews will rest as much as possible in the towing submarines. Ship's head? 095, sir. Stairs 098. Stairs 098. Half a head together. Half a head together, sir. Group down. Group down. Blowing up a bit, isn't it? Yes, sir. We're in the right submarine, then. I wouldn't be a passage crew for all the gin and Pompey. Depth? 70 feet. About time for our breath of air, isn't it? About half an hour yet. What a job. All the work and none of the glory. Well, someone's got to do it. <laughs> what did you do in the war, Dad? I was towed across the North Sea. Sitting on my, um, fat bottom, son. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell us, sir. Check a inboard vent. Check a inboard vent. I don't like leaving her behind. Then take a digger. The order said no personal effects. Since when have you been fussy about orders? All right. <laughs> we'll be transferring you to your own craft, about 1800. All right? Diving stations in five minutes' time. Diving stations in five minutes' time. Second coxswain and dinghy party, muster in the control room. Second coxswain and dinghy party, muster in the control room. Ship's head, 109, sir. Sir? Yes? What do you reckon they'll give us for supper tonight? Chicken again, do you think? Don't you ever think about anything except food? Well, I look at it this way, sir. Either we get what's coming to us, and then we won't be bothered by food no more, or else we do the job. Blow up at Sky Eye, get nicked by Jerry and stuffed in a prisoner of war camp. What's all this about prison camps? Twelve hours after the attack, you'll be back in this sub, stuffing yourself with fish and chips. I'll believe that when I do it, sir. You chaps ready? Yes. Down periscope. If we transfer crews now while there's a bit of light, I can tow you in another four miles before you slip. Fair enough. Sir X3, we are servicing to transfer crews. Sir X3, we are servicing to transfer a crew, sir. I'm feeling those chaps are going to be very glad to see us. Stand by to service. Stand by to service. Diving station. Diving station. Stand by to service. Report main vents. All main vents. Open one, two, three, four, five, and six LP master blows. Open one, two, three, four, five, six LP master blows. Check all LP tank sides. Check all LP tank sides. What's that funny smell, Dad? That's air, son. All right, stand by to transfer. Aye, aye, sir. In about two and two.
yourself as an extra kick from us, eh? Don't worry, we will. Good night. Rather you than me. Well, that transport crew's all right. On your hats, boys. There's a ruddy great mine caught in our tail. My God, it's a mine. It's fouled the tow rope. Tell the craft there's a mine on the tow. Shut all watertight doors. I never could stand lamb bags. Move along there. It's all right, you can take out your earplugs. She's gone. Corbett and Duffy have transferred cruiser. Good. Well, oh, we better love you and leave you. Yes, sir. Ship's head. One zero five, sir. Better skip that. 32 feet, sir. Up, Periscope. Well. All clear. Stand by the service. Stand by the service, sir. Diving stations. Diving stations. Check main vents. Check main vents. Check main vents. Signal X1, we are servicing. Signal X1, we are servicing. Thanks for the ride. I hope you blow dirt bits clean out of the water. Have a go. You'll be waiting for the bang about dawn. Good luck, sir. Bye. Dive, dive, dive. Dive, 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 sir. 30 feet. 30 feet. Pull ahead, group down. Pull ahead, group down. Steer 135. 135 it is, sir. Give me a course for Sternson, please. Aye, right, sir. Trim for diving, sir. Fine. Periscope depth. 10 feet. Half a head, group down. Half a head, group down, sir. Time? 22.27. Not bad. New course will be 128, sir. Steer 128. 128 it is, sir. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. Half ahead, group down. 
Up ahead, group down, sir. Periscope depth. Periscope depth. Periscope depth now, sir. Looks like shore lights. Fine on port bow. Any ideas, pilot? Could be this island, Selden. There's a fishing village there. What do you mean, could be? Could be a South End Pier. Definitely not South End, sir. Our boys are on our way. Let's pop in quick, blow her sky high, and home in time for bed, eh? Sounds like a married man talking. Of course. Of course, 172, sir. Something on the starboard beam. It's a tanker. Take it down 40 feet. 40 feet, sir. Flood Q. Flood Q. Q flooding. Q flooded. Sal will be biting his nails when he sees her. Not allowed to torpedo. Yeah. Sounds like a big one, too. Okay, periscope depth. Periscope depth, sir. Oh, for a nice torpedo. Can't be keeping much of a watch, or they'd have seen us at that range. Lookout's half asleep, I expect. I can see the Bratholm Islands now. Course? One eight two, sir. Still 176. 176, sir. 176 now, sir. Fine. Take it out to 30 feet. 30 feet, sir. You're uh, sure we're in the right for your old skipper. I mean, this is dead easy. Oh, you wait. I said course 107. Course is 107, sir. Bloody well isn't, you know. Brat home's dead ahead. Then Jara's off the board, then, sir. Any idea what's wrong? No. I better go off, switch her off, and open her up, sir. Okay. Come on, quickly. What's the depth here? Five fathoms. Shingle and mud, sir. Now well, we have to sit on the bottom and wait. Take her down. Gently. Aye, aye, sir. Slow ahead, group down. Slow ahead, group down, sir. Twenty-five feet, sir. Right, stop motor. Stop motor. Seems like the chart was right for once. <laughs> Emergency lighting, quick! Stand by to surface. Stand by to surface, sir. Shut main vents. Main vent shut, sir. Ready to surface, sir. Service. Any more tea? Yes, sir. Just 12 miles over there. Turpits. Now you mention it, I can almost smell the sauerkraut. Recharge batteries now. Aye, aye, sir. Right, sir. Sure.
Any movement? I'm not sure. Listen. It's funny. It sounds like music. That's his voice. Keep still. You stay on watch. I can below and get a move on. How is it? Still showing 296, sir. Huh? We know that's wrong. Couldn't we go in by periscope? It's only about 10 miles. We could take it slow. Yeah, supposing something goes wrong with a periscope. We can't sail entirely blind. We can't surface, because that'll give the game away. That's about it. On the other hand, we don't know if the others have even got this far. We'd look ruddy silly if we turned back and found out we were the only ones who had a chance of hitting the turpids. All right, then we'll attack. It'll mean periscope depth all the way, unless we get too close to a jelly ship. Oh, yes, sir. Let's take her up, come on. All right. O three double O. We're going in. Dive, dive, dive. Dive, 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 sir. This is it. Dive, dive, dive. 30 feet. Dive, dive, dive. 30 feet. Stay at 220. Stay at 220, sir. Steady on 220, sir. Let's help you into this. 30 feet now. Periscope depth. Periscope depth. Periscope depth now. Net boys, dead ahead. Small coaster, red four five. Stand by to flood W and D. Shot number two, main vent. Number two, main vent, shut, sir. Shot number two, Kingston. Number two, Kingston, shut, sir. Slow ahead, group down. Slow ahead, group down, sir.
Slow group down. Slow group down, sir. Small coaster dead ahead. Well, I'm damned they're opening the boom for her. Full ahead group up. Full ahead group up, sir. If we can get through that gate, it'll save us hours of wire cutting. I want 20 feet in a minute. 20 feet of lovely water waiting. Any more urge? Maximum now, sir. Don't look now, they're closing the boom! Quick off the mark, can't they? Here we go, take it down 20 feet. Down 20 feet, sir. And hang on. She's not answering, sir. I got no control here. We're through. Do you know, I believe we are. Periscope depth. Periscope depth, sir. Half a head group down. Half a head group down. Can take us slowly. Number two main band. Number two main band open, sir. Open number two Kingston. Number two Kingston open, sir. Put us go, Jeff. You all right, Ernie boy? Yeah, okay. Nice work, Diver. Have a good swim. Place is lousy with jellyfish. Periscope depth now. There she is. Large as life. Larger, in fact. Ah, oh, my beauty, if you could see what I could see. We're gonna get her after all. Periscope depth now. Can't see a thing. We're blind. No periscope, no compass. Too right, we're blind. Well, what now? Now we just sit on the bottom and wait. That's all we can do. We could bail out. Not yet, we couldn't. We're so near tapage, we only get the game away for the others. When we hear that bang, we'll bail out. Not before. Yes, sir. Depth, 10 fathoms. Shingle. All right. OK, slow ahead. Group down. Slow ahead, group down. Take her down, slowly. There she is. It'll be anti-torpedo nets in a minute. Stand by to dive. Stand by to dive. It's hella shallow about here, sir. We'd have to risk that. Any sign of activity? Not a flicker. They're all still dreaming of their fat floor lines back home. Right. 18 nets ahead. Take her down. Take her down, sir. Half a head group down. Half a head group down.
Hold it. Hold it. Right, hold her. Keep her like this. We'll bump under an itch if it splits us. Flood cue. Flood cue, sir. Don't let her surface. Doch das bilden sich doch nur ein. Hallo? Ja, ist ein U-Boot gesichtet worden. Grün 30. Ja, persönlich glaube ich, ist ein Delfin. Jawohl. Someone's in trouble. Hope they don't pop off our sight, cargoes. You won't have to worry about much if they do. There's nothing between us and that juicy great battle wagon. Now for it. Can't see a ready thing. Wait a minute. Yeah. We've got her. Slow group down. Slow group down. Gently, gently, gently. Only half an hour more copper. We have to wait a little longer than that. Copper. Till we hear the bang, eh? Huh? Yes, that's an idea. What about a tune? Only wish I could. Jerry, pick it up. We might get a little suspicious if they had a dirty British song coming up for the deck plates. Are we as near as that, then? Sure. That's it! Death charge. Probably just a routine operation, nothing to do with our boys at all. Side cargo makes a bigger bang than that. Pull a stern group down. Pull a stern group down. Ship not moving astern. Pull a head group down. Trim off. Hard port. Pull a head group down. Trim off. Hard port, sir. Shot one main vent. One main vent shot. Blow one main ballast. One main ballast blowing, sir. Ballast blown, sir. No, no ready, good. Pull a stone group up. Pull a stone group up. They've done it, sir.
one main vent. One main vent open, sir. She won't go down. Well, that must have filed the hydroplanes. Don't you flood main ballast. Keep flooded. Main ballast flooding, sir. Keep her steady. Steady. Stop, murder. Stop. That's her. Set both side cargoes for half an hour. Set both side cargoes half an hour, sir. Both side cargo set 30 minutes. Release both. Release both. Both side cargoes released, sir. Well, let's get the hell out of here, shall we? Uh -uh. It's no good, Skipper. She won't answer. What's our depth? Forty feet. She's on her side. All right, then we'll go on in as we are. Half a head group down. Half a head group down. Stand by for the bump. Getting stuffy, isn't it? You can breathe. What are you worrying about? She's moving, isn't she? She can't be. Mm. Still on the bottom. Seemed to me she healed over a bit. Well, she didn't. Karl Mannschaft sofort an Deck! Und ruck so schnell wie möglich! Ja? Ja, gut! Und stellen Sie die Wache auf! Wann sind wir klar zum Ausfahren? Wie lange wird es dauern, bis wir unter Dampf stehen? Eine halbe Stunde, Herr Kapitän. Haben Sie die Tauchhände untergeschickt? Jawohl, Herr Kapitän. Was machen die denn da mit den Wasserbomben? Wo soll denn Schröder? Also, wenn die jetzt runtergehen, dann möchte ich, dass sie ganz unter das Schiff runtergehen und unten alles absuchen, ob nicht eventuell unten ein paar kleine Minen unten am Boden angemacht Jawohl, werden. Jawohl, Herr Leutnant. Gut, dann suchen Sie ganz genau ab alles. Aber natürlich, Herr Leutnant. Kurs. 055, Sir. Keep an eye there. Aye, aye, Sir. Motor stop, sir. What about it? Shafts either bent or broken, sir. I thought things were going to work. Keep trying. There she is. Stop, motor. 
stop motor. Set side cargoes for 30 minutes. Set side cargoes 30 minutes. Both side cargoes set 30 minutes. Let them go. Side cargo's gone, sir. Well, there's no point in hanging around. Franz in Achim Shantes Dampfdrucks. Mr. Shantes Dampfdrucks. This is not ganz unmöglich. Nein, 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 this is ganz ausgeschlossen. Slow stern, group down. Full astern, group down. Full astern, group up. Stop motor. Stop motor. Okay, boys. Blow all main ballast, we're surfacing. Blow all main ballast? Surfacing? Well, we've done our job. With no hydroplanes and stuck under turpits, we've had it. We'll bail out and scuttle her. All main vent shut, sir. Low all main ballast. All main ballast, please. She's not moving. No good? She won't budge, sir. Take this, get out and have a look. All right, sir. Don't get your feet wet, Tasha. Flood him out. I wonder she won't ready move. We're stuck right underneath her keel. And it looks like the tide's going out. She's settling down on us all the time. What? Yeah, I've got better than that. We're right on top of eight tons of high explosive. Eight? Yes, yes, quick. Shall I flood W and D, sir? Well, no. Flood the whole shop. Patch lever jammed. Got a battleship on it, that's why. Get ready to bail out.
Well, keep trying. No good, sir. We've had it. <coughs> Depth, 15 feet, sir. She's rising. Flood cue. Flood cue, sir. All the tanks are full, sir. Can't hold her. Any drift? If the jar is not busted, we swung round and back towards Turpitz. Oh, that'll be lovely. Right back on top of our own side cargoes. She's still rising, sir. The Lord, Lord, come the house, Stella! Now come to the shore! Stella, you first! The Lord, Stella, you first! 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 Stella, they think we were using limpets. Well, you're not going to have a headache if he's down there when those Georges go off. Snap, Don't be like that. I should see us out of here. She's floating. No, she isn't. Then what's this? The side cargo. It's flooding. Not necessarily. It couldn't be anything else. It might be a tide or a strong current. There's one way of finding out. Start the motor. All right, sir. We're surfacing, sir? No, we're not. Take it up ten feet when you can. Ten feet, sir. Slow ahead, group down. Go ahead. Group down. She's not moving, sir. I knew it. The side cargo's flooded. That's why it's healed over. We're not bailing out. But it'll blow up. We're not giving the game away. All right? They must have got him by now, sir. We can't be sure. One peep out of us and the whole attack could fail. All right, stop motor. Stop motor, sir. Ten feet now. Going up. Iron Mungry and Hardware. Seven feet now, sir. I can't hold her. All right. Stand by to surface. Stand by to surface, sir. Can you blow any tanks? Only number two, sir. Now? Right now. And keep your ruddy heads down. Right, sir. the executioner. Hans! Schnapps. Good Lord. The arse kept over time. Now, Lord, help you! Schnell, schnell, schnell! Come to show us! Now, mach ihn doch! Einer! Los! Quite a tea party. What happened? We got stuck under this hulk. You parked yours all right, sir? Yep. Dead under number one engine room. Did you? Right on top of yours. Ought to be quite a bang. 
so they got eight tons of amatol underneath them. What are they going to do about it? They're getting off steam, sir. What? Yes, sir. Hell, 15 minutes to go yet. No sign of Duffy? No, sir. Still flooding? Can't tell. There's no more list. They don't always explode when they flatter. Yes, they bloody well do, and we all know it. I'm all right. Sure you're all right. Standestam Stux? Was? 30. Dampfdruck 30, Herr Kapitän. Geben Sie sofort Meldung, wenn wir seeklar sind. Es genügt mir halbe Kraft. Jawohl, Herr Kapitän. Klar bei Leinen los zum Ablegemanöver. Klar bei Leinen los zum Ablegemanöver. Klar bei Leinen los zum Ablegemanöver. Nein, 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 wir können noch nicht los. They've only got to move it a few feet to one side. They don't know that. Yet. Let's stall it. You, sir, command this party? No. Are you in charge of this party? Excuse me? Are you commander of this party? Oh, uh, yes, yes, I am. We wish to know immediately what kind of charge you have employed. I, I beg your pardon? We want to know what kind of explosives you have used. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you do. You realize that you are in danger with us? Do you realize that, Corbett? Uh, no, sir, I didn't. What's the time? Ten minutes to, sir. Yes, we do. Now, listen, all of you. You'll be sent to prison camp in any case. If you tell us the nature and position of your explosives, we can make things easier for you. Eight minutes to go, sir. They must move her. They're not crazy. Here, do you think we could move along the deck a bit? Not a chance. Why? I reckon we're plumb on top of the charges, that's all. What's the matter? You tired of swimming, Ernie? Ruhe! Hello, and what have you seen there? That's very clear. They can't see on the place. They can't see them. The air dump for the kessel. Schneller, schneller! Engines. Feel them? Yeah. Five minutes. They must get them moving. I wish to hell we had used limpets. Dampfdruck 50. Na endlich. Alle Leine los. Wohl, wir sind bereit. Alle Leine los. Also los. Three minutes. She's moving. No, she's not. Props are turning anyway. Stand by and hold on tight. Oh, what a lovely bang! Get him out of the pumpkin! 
have broken her back. She won't move from here in this war. Hey, look, it's given me a nosebleed. You think they heard that in White Horse, Die Tau hat das nicht gemeldet. Wo sind die Engländer? Hinter der Mixtunnel, Herr Kapitän. Unter Bewachung. Stand by the Beilader, as soon as she's flooded. Die Leutmannschaft, schneller machen! Haben Sie irgendwelche Informationen erhalten? Nein, Herr Kapitän. Sie wollen nicht antworten. Ich hoffe, er hat einen smashing Sense of Humor. Achtung! Das hätte ich niemals für möglich gehalten. Sagen Sie Ihnen, dass Sie tapfere Männer sind. Meine Hochachtung. The Captain says, you are brave men. He salutes you. Thank you, sir. Bringen Sie sie an Land zu vernehmen. Wegtreten! Gehen Sie weiter! Raus! 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 Raus!